Hi. How are you? Hello. We, this is. I'm Deb Stamp. This is Terry Reed. Terry Lutry. Oh, yeah, uh, sorry. Go ahead. <laughs> We're, we, we work with the deacon's closet, and this is the deacon's closet that you're in. If you take a look, there's food on all the shelves that's donated by church members, and we get some money that's donated by church members. And then every Tuesday morning, or bright and early, a team comes in, and they pack up these bags, and they give the, we put them up. Terry, tell them about the bags, what you've got every, in there. Every bag has eight items. Every bag has... A can of beans, of, of assortment of beans, a can of vegetables, a can of pasta sauce, a package of pasta, a can of soup, uh, and a thing of tuna fish, and a roll of toilet paper, and then people come through and they get food and everybody gets a bag. Um, we average, we give people, we average about 100 bags a week. So this is all volunteers, all the food, um, um, the canned food is purchased from fries and then a lot of the food is donated by the church members. And we do have dog food, food on, and cat food on request for people who would like to keep their dogs and cats help fed as well. So, and that's bagged weekly by one of our church members. And then we also have a lot of stuff we don't put in the bags, chili, uh, chili, chili, chili. We have uh, chicken breasts. Uh, a lot of people love uh, peanut butter. That's by request only. And canned fruit. Uh, a lot of people have kids. So when the kids come, kids love peanut butter. So we try to give them peanut butter. We also have jelly so they can make that. And then we also have bread that we get from Beyond Bread. And uh, we have a gentleman who picks up for us from Target and other stores, and he comes very mm -hmm. early with the early morning crew who come here and work really hard early to set up tables in the other room where we can give extra things. Everybody gets a bottle of water, um, and then we go through, and as Terry said, any of the extras we try to put on the table so that they can have something extra besides the bags. And the Beyond Bread is just absolutely wonderful. And Paul, who comes and brings all our stuff from Target, brings myriads of things whatever he gets it can be fruit vegetables eggs milk um, cakes a nice treat for people in a bag and on the third tuesday of every month which is going to be tomorrow the community food bank brings a clothing trailer that has clothing on it for the people that just want clothing and they have a lot of toiletries on it and then also every tuesday the community food bank brings us fresh vegetables or um, watermelons, we've watermelons been getting. fruit and stuff, and that's anywhere from uh, 800 to 2,000 pounds, and we get that every week. So all the canned goods, goods does not come in flip tops like this. So um, we, ha John, one of our volunteers, buys these at, at the Salvation Army, and basically they're called P38s, and they are made. They were government issue back in World War One and World War Two. And then basically, they're they're can openers. You just do that and just and just turn it and just go around. And you can open a can. So he buys these. He put them on a string and they can put it around their neck and they have a can opener. Um, we the volunteers here. Everybody volunteers. Um, we do this because there's a great need of hunger in this city. Um, there's a lot of people homeless. A lot of people, even if they're not homeless. Uh, they don't get paid a lot of money uh, and they have a hard time buying food. Um, it's either pay for rent or electricity or pay for food. So we hopefully we can help them by giving them food um, to offset some of their costs. Um, it's just a, a good feel. It's nice to see people. Everybody that come, 99% of the people that come through, they always say thank you, have a good day, and God bless you. They are very, very, very appreciative of what this church does for them. Yeah, and if you read the Bible and you read um, Jesus' story, he's really big on helping people who are less fortunate. Who He said the poor will be with you always, and he said that so we would know it's our job to help them. And 
there is a lot of hunger and there is a lot of poverty and I've learned so much doing it. I've learned, you know, that a lot of times they need some cleaning supplies too. And a lot of times they're out in the streets and to give them a can without a little pop top lid is hard for them. And I didn't even think about those things. So I've learned some of the difficulties of being out there without very much. And I hope that I'm doing what Jesus would want me to do.